Hey y'all, it's Danny with Escape Power Sports and this Razor 800 has gotten stuck in park a couple times this winter. And my theory on this is that water's made its way into the shift cable, causing it to freeze on really cold mornings, leaving this Razor stuck in park until the bike warms up. Regardless, today we'll be showing the step-by-step -step procedure on how to replace the shifter cable on your Razor 800. Let's get started. Now while I pull the bike into our tarp tree shop, y'all can pause the video here to see the tools, parts, and beers required to get the job done. Real quick, if you ever find yourself stranded out on the trails with a broken shift cable, you can shift it manually from the driver's side of the motor here and just click the machine into whatever gear is most appropriate to get you home. To start getting access to the front of the shift cable, we will remove the seats by pulling up on the tab behind the seat cushions. Then we can yank the access panel without tools also by turning these two knobs a quarter turn in. Next, we're going to need the center console out of our way. And we'll start on it by prying the shifter cap off with a flathead exposing the Torx T25 star bolt that is securing the shifter handle itself. Now the only thing in our way are these 11 Torx T27 star screws holding the center console to the floor. And when I was bagging these T27s, I was sure to notice the longer two go to the holes furthest to the rear. Now with our newly found access to the shifter cable, it's a good time to take a note of where it's routed from the shift handle to the transmission. Now I wasn't able to get a good picture of the entire route, but this cable runs pretty direct. The only thing I noticed is that it did run under the wiring harness. And before I removed the shift cable, I figured it wouldn't hurt to count the threads visible after the nut so we can adjust the new cable accordingly. But I was quickly reminded of why I don't typically make videos on first attempts at a job as the shift cable can only be adjusted from the rear of the machine. So definitely don't worry about the front and just count the threads in the back between the back nut and the protective boot back here by the transmission. On this machine, I counted four threads visible between the back nut and the protective boot. Then I grabbed two crescent wrenches to start removing the old shift cable and knocked this 21 millimeter nut loose, freeing the cable and shifter in the front. And followed that up with a 13 millimeter wrench to remove this nut and free the cable from the shifter entirely. I also found a half inch ratcheting wrench fit this nut and did the job of removing it nicely. With our shift cable free in the front, it's time to head to the rear driver side of this razor and repeat the removal process for the back end of this shift cable. Making sure we remember to count the visible threads to minimize any adjusting we'll need to do with our new shift cable. With the threads counted, I grabbed a crescent wrench and backed the front nut off, allowing me to easily slide the cable out of the bracket. and then finish by removing the last 13 millimeter nut holding the shift cable to the transmission. With the old cable completely disconnected, I found the easiest way to route the new cable correctly was to zip tie it to the old one and just pull it through making sure the side with the two adjusting nuts is headed for the back. With the new cable in place, I first attached it to the transmission in the back with the original 13mm nut and then headed to the front, where I set it back into the bracket under the shifter, tightening the washer and 21mm nut with two crescent wrenches, and secured the cable to the shifter itself with the 13mm nut we removed earlier. And when I went to finish the job by tightening the adjusting nut to the bracket in the back, this job got a little more frustrating for me. And it took me a couple minutes of frustration to figure out why it wouldn't work right. And here's what I learned. All right, y'all, so we got a little problem here. The nut on the new shift uh, cable is too big to fit into the little bracket here. It's just a hair bigger than the old one. So I, apparently I, either I ordered the wrong part or maybe don't buy the cheapest one you can find on eBay. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can show you the old one and how it fits good. All right, so I got the old one hooked back up here. And this is what I wanted to show y'all is how the old one slides nice and easy. That nut slides into that bracket and it fits good. Um, hopefully we can all learn from this. I know I learned that when it comes time to replace the shift cable on your razor, definitely best to stick with the OEM shift uh, cable and not the cheapest one you can find. Anyway, no big deal, back to the how-to. But with the correct shift cable, this final step went very smoothly. I made sure to set the back nut with the same four threads visible between that back nut and the boot, and snugged up the front nut by hand, eventually tightening it with a crescent wrench. And be sure to check for a video link in the description for a more in-depth look at adjusting the shift cable on your razor. 
With your new shift cable installed, it's probably best to turn the key on and make sure the bike shifts smoothly between every gear and make any adjustments necessary before reinstalling the center console, access panel, and seats. Well, it's unfortunate that I bought the wrong uh, shift cable here, but I guess that's the best way to learn. Anyway, I hope you found this shift cable install video helpful, and if you did, do me a quick favor and give the video a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any thoughts or suggestions on how I can improve these videos, or really any comments on this shift cable install topic in general, please leave a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also really like to thank the couple hundred or so guys who found some of the content on this channel and decided to subscribe. Y'all keep commenting and sharing the videos that we're making out here, and I'll keep trying to make them better every single time. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank y'all for watching. And until next time, we'll see you all on the trail.